Good morning. Happy Sunday. I need my cookbook. I wasn't prepared. I didn't have my cookbook ready. All right, now I'm semi-prepared. I should have found the recipe before I got on camera, because, but I didn't. So, here I am, flailing. Shocker. That's how I roll. Oh, I just saw a section called pancakes. There they is. All right. So, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I'm not a big Valentine's person. My sweet daughter is, so she's got a big Valentine's Day coming, and I see a bag on the table full of sweet treats from my sweet Valentine girl. <laughs> but my husband and I don't waste money. It's Hallmark paid for it, wants you to pay for it. Anywho, none of that. <laughs> I, so being that it's Valentine's Day, if I'd had half a brain, we could have made um, red velvet uh, pancakes with like, beetroot powder to make it red, but I didn't think of that until just now. But that's okay. We're going to make upside down banana, no, ups, uh, upside down pineapple pancakes. Somebody, my mom has been putting random things into the Trim Healthy Pancakes and they've been coming out sweet and she's been loving them. So, and I've had like three people send me this recipe. A couple people linked me on Facebook to make upside down pineapple pancakes. And I love pineapple and I love pancakes, so why not? Sounds like a good deal. So, this is the cookbook I'm using for the actual base of the pancake. The original, or well, the first cookbook. Uh, Trim Healthy Cookbook, it's on page 259. I've made these ones live before, they're stupid easy. Um, and they are, to, in my opinion, the best pancakes in the book. I Well, I really like the banana ones too, but these ones are, they're very good. So, let's do it. I'm gonna make the pancake batter first because the more, as it sits for a few minutes, it gets fluffier and better. I'm like breaking out in hives for some reason. <laughs> um, all right, so we need, this one is an E, if you're wondering. This one has um, some oatmeal and some other ingredients. I can't share the exact recipe. I've got a notification that won't go away. There we go. Um, I can't share the exact recipe because this is a copyrighted book. This is the Trim Healthy Cookbook. Um, but you can get an idea of how to make them. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you have already made these anyway. But the base is not what we're worried about. It's the other stuff that's yummy. That's gonna be yummy. So let me bring this over here. I need, I need a measuring cup that's not on the top, so I have to clang and clang to get to it. Why not? I'm going to go through every, it's going to be the last one. There it is, bottom of my jar. My mom said to me yesterday, you know, if you had all your ingredients prepared, it would make your videos go smoother. <laughs> I'm like, that's the point of my videos. I cook like everybody else. <laughs> I don't prepare anything. Half the time, I don't even know if I have the ingredients when I start the recipe. Isn't that how we all cook? That's how I do it, girl. That's how I do it. All right. That's the big carb right there, the E. And our pancakes comes from oats. I use the old fashioned oats for this. Uh, my fridge is full. I should not be lack on any ingredients this morning because I shopped yesterday and spent my whole month grocery budget. <laughs> not really, but close. Oh, because I was out of every vegetable known to me and I didn't have a single vegetable in this house. <sighs> it was crazy. I hate getting to that point. All right, I need some stuff out of my fridge. All right, where did that go? I 
was out of egg whites and egg whites are like key to everything I make. So I am glad I am refilled on, I did not follow the ingredients, FYI. I just skipped a step. I was supposed to grind my oats and I didn't. Shoot. <laughs> oh well. We're gonna go with it now. I can't do it now. I do that. Uh, when am I gonna learn? Probably never. Probably never. <laughs> I can't. I can't believe I just did that. I'm supposed to make flour out of my oats. My blender will take care of it. I hope. Let's keep our fingers crossed. All right. This calls for vanilla. I'm gonna use my beaver butt vanilla because <laughs> I learned to really enjoy this Mexican vanilla. That's a bit more than it called for, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. All right, one more ingredient and we'll be whizzing this baby up. My parents kindly stopped at the, the Amish store yesterday, filled up my ingredients, my baking powder, my cocoa, my, uh, I can't see comments again, this stinking phone. I don't understand what I do wrong. There we go. Uh, apparently every morning I have to mess with it. I don't know, I should actually measure baking powder. That would probably be a better idea. Yes, Chrissy, my fridge is so full, it's ridiculous. I mean ridiculous. But it's got a lot of green stuff in there, girl. A lot. I have made these, pan you made these pancakes, Karen? You made upside down banana pan, or I mean uh, upside down pineapple pancakes with tequila. I don't think you meant to write tequila, but girl, some tequila and pancakes. This is a whole new Sunday morning. <laughs> I think that was a typo. I don't think Karen's over there putting tequila in her pancakes. I could be wrong but I'm guessing I'm not. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, you know what? I'm gonna put a little wee bit of pineapple extract in this because I can. I do still get my Misfits, Candace, but because of the storm last, a week and a half ago, they um, didn't deliver my order, and so it's gonna be four weeks. I'm gonna get it next weekend. And I couldn't wait. Girl, I needed some veggies. Bad. Like, I needed some, because I usually get all of my veggies from there. Where's my pineapple extract? Not root beer. That wouldn't be good. Pineapple. Um, yeah, so I'm anxious for my misfits to come this week. And you are right, Marie. Every mom needs two fridges. I need a second one downstairs. I got two freezers, but I need two fridges. I need a second fridge downstairs just for my you know just because all right I'm gonna zing this baby up um, but I need the cover too, so <laughs> gotcha Karen <laughs> you made the regular pancakes not the tequila pancakes okay maybe the tequila tequila pancakes will be next weekend's attempt that's a that'll sound more like maybe Marty or something all right Let's see, how long does it say to blend this stuff up? I mean, you're supposed to make the flour first, but. Oh, it just says blend well. So, all right. All right, I'm gonna bring you over here. I'm gonna blend my pancakes. I'm just gonna blend them right up on high. I like to show you while I blend, because otherwise you're just staring at a wall and hearing some noise. Hopefully blending my, I was Karen. I forgot. I was supposed to blend the oats first. Oh well. It'll still work. That's so 
what's good about cooking. It don't matter if you get it wrong. It's still going to come out all right. She's pretty runny. I wonder if that's because I blended late. I don't know. We're going to eat it anyway. I think it's going to work anyway. Nicole, it's a blend tech. It's an amazing blender that I don't deserve. I mean, it is crazy. All right. My dish is dirty. Good. They are. I can put more dirty dishes in there. I love it when my dishes are dirty and I have dirty dishes because then I don't have to empty the dishwasher before I put more in. All right. Pan uh, pineapple. I'm gonna let that sit because it, if it, the batter is better as it thickens up for a few minutes. I got myself a pineapple-y pineapple. So somebody told me if these pull out easy, it's ripe. But I walked around the commissary. I walked around the commissary yesterday trying to yank on all of these things and couldn't get them to come out. None of them. Now look at them. None of them would come out, and I was like, the same. Ooh, that one's sharp. Holy Hannah. Um. None of these would come out, and the commissary guy was looking at me. I could see him peeking around the corner. Why is she yanking on all the pancakes or pineapples, and then she's picking them up and sniffing the bottoms? That girl is sniffing our pancakes, but it's okay. I picked one. Look at that. That, that drew blood. Look. <laughs> that hurt. Oh. <sighs> It's not bleeding enough that I need a band-aid. Nobody freak out that I'm gonna get blood in my food. I had to squeeze it really hard to get that blood out. But that hurt. That pineapple's mean. Because probably because it's mad that it got pierced. I mean. <laughs> oh, thank you, Michelle. My dancing doesn't brighten many brighten many people in the world. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My dancing is not very good. <laughs> I don't dance. All right. I'm going to get rid of this thing before it slices my finger off. It's me. I don't like it. My trash is full. So, oh, you know. I need to start a new trash bag. Close. That one. That one is full. I can wait till I'm done. All right. This is really um, way more discombobulated than it should be. Oops, I took too much fruit on that one. I want to get those brown things off, but I don't want to go lose half my fruit either. And I'm not doing very good at that this morning. I'm losing half my fruit. Aw, thank you, Nicole. I get very frustrated some days, believe it or not. I feel like I should be, I feel like if I weigh 218 right now, and I feel like I should be losing faster than this. And so I get frustrated, but I also know that I'm 43, no, I'm 42 and a half. And that the weight is not going to come off like it did when I was 25. Had I wanted the weight to come off fast, I should have stopped eating Hot Pockets for breakfast when I was 25, not 42. So, it's my own fault. And now I have to be patient. Because in the beginning, weight was coming off like, you know, 20 pounds in a month. But now it's coming off slower but it's okay, it's coming off. And if I stopped trim healthy right now, would the weight come off anymore? No, so what's the point? I might as well stick to it because it will come off and I'm eating pineapple pancakes. So, I mean, what's the point in quitting? All right, I'm just gonna cut these in some slices. That's all. I'm gonna cut the rest after. I need the pineapple cutter from pineapple, pineapple chef, pampered chef. Ugh. I need something. I, Cause I do eat a lot of pineapple these days. 
I'm gonna cut one more slice and leave that little baby slice for somebody else. And by somebody else, I mean me at a later date. All right. I'm going to, I don't have like a little fancy cutter to take out the center. And I just busted it. I wanted to keep it in a ring, but I just broke it. But that's okay. It's gonna taste the same, broken pineapple or not. I'm just taking out the centers with a little spoon so that I have little wee rings. Don't cut it too thick because you don't want, you know, too much pineapple. It's gonna be good. And I think I did cut it too thick. I wonder if I can cut this any thinner. I think you want it kind of thin for this because number one, you want it to cook. And number two, you don't want two full servings of carbs in one breakfast. You wanna keep your carbs at a reasonable amount. Carbs won't hurt you. But there, that's perfect actually. I got three perfect rings. One's broken, so it's semi-perfect, but that's okay. It's perfect enough for me. It's KJ perfect. All right, so now I'm gonna get some super sweet in a bowl and some molasses. And I'm gonna make me some brown sugar. Brown sugar. All right, I'm gonna get a couple tablespoons of super sweet. I don't know that I'm gonna need that much, but it's gonna make it easier to stir if I have a little extra. So, I couldn't find my super, my, my black strap molasses yesterday, or last week when I couldn't find it. And you know where it was? It was under the kitchen sink with the cleaners, of course. Because where else would it be? I have no idea how it got there. I don't know if it was me or if my husband thought this looked like cleaner and put it under there or if I just was half asleep. Both are likely possibilities. But I... So I'm just putting a drizzle of black strap. You can use regular if that's what you have. Black strap molasses, probably, I don't know, I think it's maybe, not, maybe between a quarter and a half a teaspoon. It's just a, just a little bit, don't measure it, just get a little bit on your spoon. Stick it in your gentle sweet and go to town on that stuff. Just mash it. And the more you mash it, the more it will, whatever it's doing, assimilate. No, that's not the right word. The more you mash it, the more it will mash for lack of a better word, literally. Okay. I think I got more brown sugar, I mean, uh, more molasses than I needed and less super sweet. So I'm gonna put a little bit more super sweet in there. I won't use this all and I'll have a little leftover. I'll just save it on the counter in a little jar for another recipe. But you can buy swerve brown sugar if you want. Go ahead, nobody's stopping you. But I just like to make mine from scratch. It takes me, I mean, look at that. What is that, a total of a minute? And I have perfect brown sugar. Perfect. Incorporate. You win, Jeannie and Tammy. Yes, incorporate. It was a big word for a Sunday morning. All right. <laughs> I don't use big words. All right, I, now what am I gonna do? I, I'm going to, what am I gonna do? I'm going to sprinkle my brown sugar all over my, can you even say, let me move my camera down. Is that better? No, nope, that's not better, that's crooked as heck. All right, I'm gonna sprinkle my brown sugar onto one side of my pineapple. And you're gonna have to mush it in a little cause otherwise I feel like when I put that in my pan it's gonna fly all over my kitchen and that wouldn't surprise me even a little bit. There's probably, you know what? There's a way better way to do this. Stick it in the bowl. Duh, look at that. That was genius. Why didn't I think of that five minutes ago? And now this pineapple is into six pieces. That's okay, it's gonna taste the same. Unless you're cooking for Gordon Ramsay and trying to get a score on MasterChef, then don't worry about if your pineapple breaks. If you're on 
master chef trying to cook for Gordon, then you probably shouldn't be making sugar-free food anyway. All right. Let me bring you over here with me. So my parents came down yesterday and they brought me some new pans. They said, your pans are crap. You're cooking with ugly pans. We can't have our daughter be seen cooking with those ugly pans. I'm just kidding, that's not what they said. They just felt bad for my crappy pans apparently. Brought me new pans, so I got new pans. That's okay. Kelly, my wet sugar will be wet and probably hardened. My brown sugar? It stays, I put it in a little container and it stays. Oh, I know what you're saying. The sugar I just put in my, cause I put my my pineapple, well it probably will. That was probably a very bad idea putting my pineapple right in my brown sugar. Oh well. And this is how we learn. <laughs> She's right you guys, don't do that. <laughs> I just ruined, probably ruined my brown sugar. Oh well. Only a tablespoon or so. Not the end of the world. Alright. My batter's thickening up nicely. Alright. <laughs> Mom said, I bought you cheap pans because if they last a year, then you can just buy more. We didn't buy you expensive pans. And I'm like, that's okay. I don't need expensive pans. But look, it's shallow and huge. I love it. I made quesadillas in it yesterday and it was the bomb. Do you like my, you like my shirt? People like my shirt. It has pockets. It's got a little flappy in the back. I got it off the Amazon. It's warm and fuzzy because it's two degrees outside and cold and I'm gonna be on the road today. I thought you weren't supposed to use cooking spray on Teflon. Girl, I don't know, I do. I'll say this, I'm no expert. <laughs> Sorry. I'm putting my pineapple brown sugar. I don't know if this is gonna work, you guys. I haven't tried this, it could be terrible. I got my pineapple and my broken pineapple ring but see now nobody will know brown sugar sad damn I'm gonna get that all caramely oh it's bubbly and yummy and it's gonna be delicious I can tell it in my bones it's gonna be good yeah we've had those days here Sheila this has been a warm winter in Maine. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know. Are you not supposed to put cooking spray in Teflon? I always put cooking spray. I put cooking spray in everything. All right. Now I have some frozen dark sweet cherries. Heidi, I would rather go without a refrigerator than to not have a gas stove. I absolutely love gas. I, when we moved in this house, it was not set up for gas and I refused, I told my husband, I am not buying that house. We are not buying that house unless we install gas. And so we did. I am gonna microwave my, my cherries because they're frozen solid, so. I'm gonna turn that heat down a little because she's getting hot. Well, I was all excited that my dishes were dirty so I didn't have to empty the dishwasher, but also that means my spatulas are too. All my, I'm just gonna move some of that brown sugar to the middle. All right, I just nuked my cherries long enough to thaw them out a little. Ooh, that smells yummy. Ooh, they're steaming. Holy banana. All right. Now I'm just going to pop a little cherry down in the middle. These are just frozen cherries, not the old maraschino kind like you get from, you know, the jar. You could use fresh cherries if you got them. I don't have them in Maine in February. We do not have fresh cherries in Maine. I need a spoon. 
what happens. I'm going to see if anybody's telling me. All right. It says, oh, I'm nervous. They're all going to flow together. I just know it. I'm going to move this one over a little. I can't cook nothing without smoking the house up. All right. I'm going to pour a third. Oh, don't. My pineapple's sliding around. I don't know if this is gonna work with this pineapple batter, I mean pancake batter. We're gonna find out. I mean, worst case scenario is I scramble it up like an egg. <laughs> and it tastes like they're all mixing together into one big pancake. That's okay, you knew that was coming, didn't you? All right. That's all right, it's no big thing if they mix together. Nobody said they had to be pretty. I'm not making this for no show or restaurant. I'm gonna get it for my belly, so who cares? That's my opinion. I think I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of this brown sugar that I made, just a little on the top for when I flip them. They'll get brown sugary and probably burnt tasting, but that's okay. We'll find out. We'll find out together. All right. I have this should be a giant pancake because it's all mixed together into one big pancake. And I bet that's because I didn't grind my oats first because I'm a genius. It's all right. Somebody else out there is going to make these and they're going to be perfection. Mine is just an idea at this point. I'm going to have to flip this like one big pancake. <laughs> I should. I wish I had enough batter to fill in the holes. Oh boy. All right, turn the heat back up a little. Let her cook. It's all right, it's all right. Yeah, Bonnie, it's a massive pancake. <laughs> I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do, Heidi. I'm gonna cut them apart. They're gonna be ugly as heck. Usually when I make these, they stay in a perfect little round shape. This is an E, yes, Cindy, this is an E. So, oh. Thank you, Cindy. Glad you guys are watching out for me. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to cut it in thirds. So coffee with my e-breakfast. Um, I use... Whew, that is smelling burnt. This may be a big old fail, you guys. I haven't yet had one that's turned out total failed. This may be the one. This is too liquidy to flip. I gotta pour off some of the batter. Where's my pineapple? I can't, I can't tell. Oh my word, okay. Well, that went poorly there. That That's just a little side piece. We're not gonna worry about that. Oh my gosh. Fail! Okay. Hey Heidi, I need to be micromanaged. Clearly, these aren't gonna come out very good. I can feel it. Oh man. Fail, 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 fail. Big time fail. Oh man, look. Okay, so this is how it really goes for most people. <laughs> My heat's all the way down, Sharon. <sighs> oh well, it's all right. <laughs> it's scorching bad. I get the heat all the way down and it is smoking. I hold it up here under my vent if you wonder what I'm doing. That, okay, well look how pretty those are. <laughs> you guys, this is how not to make pancakes this morning. Dang, Skippy, this is not how you do it. They are smoking. 
<laughs> I'm usually really good at pancakes, Jennifer. Don't anybody got tips? Not me. <laughs> I usually don't have any issue with these pancakes. I made them the other day and they came out beautiful. You guys watched that video? Some of you. I made I made uh, banana split pancakes or something. I made with these pancakes. I don't remember. Man. Massive fail. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> I'm still going to eat it. <laughs> oh, it probably would. I probably should have put these in my waffle maker. You're right. They're not cooking. Like, now I get the heat too low, but if I turn it up, it starts smoking like a friggin' 70 year old truck driver. Oh my gosh. No offense to truck drivers that smoke, it's okay. <laughs> Try putting your batter in first and then flip. You know, I should. I should. I should do a redo. It's only eight. I won't waste it. I could eat it later. Put it in the fridge for another try. What do you say we try it again? Should we? I should do what my mother does and just chop up the pineapple and put it in there. Yeah, they're, they're like, they're not cooking. I'm done. Oh. Failure is an option in my house. Dang. A teaspoon of butter would keep it, but they're not sticking to the pan at all. Like they're slippery. They're not sticking. They're just, whew, they're smoking off. All right. Okay, so that's not good. Don't do that. So if you're just starting this video, skip to this section. Let's taste it and see what it tastes like. And then we'll try it again. We'll try it again. Hey, hot. They're delicious, but they're ugly. Ugly food's okay. It's okay. It's okay, but I'm gonna do it again. I will put those in the fridge. Nobody freak out. I'll eat those again. I will eat them later as a meal, or I will eat them as a breakfast tomorrow. All right, let me wash out my blood bath. Let me wash out Brenda. Oh. Crap on a cracker. That's all right. This is real cooking. This is what happens in the real world. You suck the first time around. All right. I'm going through a massive amount of paper towels this morning. Oh, Brenda, you failed me. Actually, it wasn't your fault. It's my fault. Brenda the Blenda. <sighs> Bonnie, stop now, girl. You ain't ugly. You are beautiful. All right. Let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> this time, I'm going to... I did shut off my pan. Oh, you didn't tell me to shut off my pan. You told me to grind the oats. I, but, and I read that as make sure your pan is off. <sighs> okay. This time I'm going to make pineapple cherry pancakes that are not upside down. And Crystal, you are wise. I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to mix it up because I've got all these pieces of pineapple left that are not rings and I'm going to chop them up into pieces and I'm going to mix them in my pancakes. It's okay if they're not upside down. 
they're gonna be upside down by the time they get down your gullet. So then they become upside down pancakes once you chew them up. Then they are officially upside down. Brainiac. All right. It's okay, KJ. It's okay. It's okay if you fail live. Nobody cares. All right. <laughs> I could make a topping with the, the pineapple. I mean, it would be good, but I did that last week with, didn't I? No, I didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> I made pineapple pancakes. No, what did I make last week that had pineapple on top? Oh, banana split pancakes. That's right. Okay, look how much juice is in that. Look how wet my napkin is. So clearly, good thing nobody's foot was under that. All right. Now my, pan my pineapple is drying. <laughs> Let's attempt this again. All right, now I need another third of a cup because I just put mine in the dishwasher. I could pull it out, but I might get yelled at. All right, I'm gonna grind these oats this time because the recipe says to do so and KJ ignored it because she thought she knew better. Actually, she didn't, she's just dumb. All right. We're gonna grind the oats like the instructions say. We're gonna wash the batter off our cover first so it doesn't stick to our dry oats. Oh my gosh, I told my husband, I'll make a quick video this morning. We have places to go today. I'll be quick, I'll be quick. I'll only have to make my breakfast okay, so why not? All right, let's do this. Grind, baby, grind. Grind that, Brenda. Oh. That Brenda the Blenda is a work horse. Man, now I got it all over my clean shirt. Look at that. Man, that does a heck of a job on those oats. Holy Moses. All right. What next? The rest of the ingredients. Man. That's right. That's right. That's right, Laura. Thank you. I did not fail. It was a practice attempt. Bad one. Nonetheless. <laughs> Brenda. I mean, Bonnie. Brenda is going to be grinding up in the club. She can work it. All right. Brenda is a saucy minx and she works hard for the money. All right, what else have I got? Some super sweet, let's see. Oh my gosh, that's got brown sugar all over it. That's okay, I don't care. You know what? No. I was just gonna say, let's put brown sugar in it instead, but I'm gonna do that when this is all mixed up. <sighs> Vanilla. Let's get out the beaver bat vanilla again. All right. A little bit less this time. KJ. And pineapple extract. Do I really need it? No, I don't. I'm not gonna do it because I'm putting pineapple in them. Why do I need extract? I don't. I'm wasting my ingredients. All right. Did I put my baking powder back? Did I? I actually put something away. I did. It's the first time for everything. <sighs> Cindy. That's all right. It's all on TV anyway, right? <laughs> you can rewind it. <laughs> all right. Okay, KJ. Did you miss anything? No. Where's my cover? Right here. Now we're gonna blend it. And maybe this time it will come out right. Because I follow the instructions.
southeast Kansas. Look, well, that is so much thicker this time, you guys. It's actually a little chunky. I think I missed a piece. Stuck to the bottom there. I gotta blend that a little bit more. It kinda got stuck. Should I be using a spoon inside my blender like that? Probably not. But I didn't read any warning, so I'm doing it. Somebody said church was canceled due to the extreme cold weather and snow. What's that, Leah? How cold? Your church has been back in lives. Well, we, I, our church is too, um, but we're not. We're not going. I have asthma, and so I try to avoid big gatherings for the most part. My cottage cheese is not blending. I think it's because there's so little batter in here. Did I miss something? No, I didn't. Whatever. It's good enough. I think it'll be fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all okay. It's fine. I need that batter again. I'm going to mix that up this time. I'm going to get my cherries. I am all over the place. Okay, <laughs> get it together, KJ. I'm still reeling over my failures, my practice attempt. All right, there's a little bit, I, I've got a few chunks in here, but don't panic, it's okay. I'm gonna hurt anything. It's cottage cheese. It's because there's so little in the blender, like it needs more to be able to blend well. Get out, get out. See how much thicker it is than last time? So clearly, grinding the oats first is important. <laughs> Words to the wise, pay attention to the ingredients. All right, now, now my pancake is dry, my pineapple is dry. I squeezed it all out. I'm mixing it right in this time because I think it's gonna do a better job. And if it doesn't this time, I'm gonna eat it anyway. All right, so that's probably maybe, uh, maybe a quarter cup of pineapple. Mixed right in. Now let's put some cherries in there. They're, they're still frozen. Should I, I should microwave them. I should do this right this time. Let's take another six paper towels, why not? All right. My kitchen was spotless when I started this. Honest Pete, look you guys. My kitchen was spotless, now look. This is what has happened to my kitchen. Oh. Holy Hannah. And I just, my cherry just exploded. Hold on. I meant to cook that for 20. I think I hit the 30 second. All right, I am gonna chop my cherries, Crystal. I'm gonna chop those babies up and I'm gonna dry them. All right. Oh yeah, Nikki, that's the type of temperatures we're used to getting here in Maine in this time of year is 20 below, wind chill, you know, 40 below with the winds. This winter has been warm. I mean, it's three degrees, that's like balmy. Three degrees. All right, now my cherries are all squishy. I, I, I should chop them with a knife. I'm drying them out, you guys. Can you even see what I'm doing? You probably can. 
<sighs> All right, my dad came down yesterday and he sharpened my knives that I've, yeah, he sharpened my knives that I was complaining about. Remember I was complaining that these were dull? He brought his little sharpener tool down. So it's good to know that my parents are watching the videos. Hi, mom and dad. Thank you for sharpening my knives. All right. Ooh, it's sharp now, girl. Slice through that cherry like butter. All right. This is gonna be way easier this way. <laughs> Bonnie, I want to move. We almost moved, I've said this a million times, we almost moved to South Carolina this year because, mostly because of the weather and the pr housing prices are significantly lower in the South. And I mean significantly. And I could have had like double the house that I have right now, which I love my house, don't get me wrong, but I could have had a bigger house if I moved to South Carolina. But, we decided not to. We decided to stay around with family because, you know, the world started to fall apart. And my dad has ALS and my father-in-law was sick and now has passed. And I am glad we stayed. So, all right. Oh, you live in South Carolina, Lainey? Yes, yeah, Cindy, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm putting brown sugar in there, girl. I feel like the brown sugar is gonna be important to this recipe. Brown sugar, pineapple, and cherries in that batter. This already looks better than my last attempt. Let me just say, that looks, I might just eat it with a spoon because there's nothing in there except all those raw eggs. That would hurt me. And who cares about a little raw egg white? I mean, it's pasteurized. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. All right. Paula, I'm using the Trim Healthy Pancakes. Is that what they're called? Trim Healthy Pancakes from Trim Healthy Cookbook. But then I'm making them my own. All right. Do you think I need cooking spray? It says in the book I do, so. Calm down. All right. Let's see. Let's turn that pan on. I'm not going to get it quite so scorching this time. But maybe that will help the smoke factor. I think these look good. They got some cottage cheese chunks in there, but I'm okay with that. I didn't get it blended quite as well. Did you put egg whites in your second batter? I hope so. Did I? Is that why it's so thick? No, I know I did. Did I? We're about to find out. I feel like I did. I hope I did. Look, if I didn't, these are egg white free. <laughs> All right. See, this is more spoonable batter. Maybe that's why. Maybe I didn't put the egg whites in here. I don't know. Did somebody see me do it? Okay, thank you, Jennifer. Whew, I just about panicked. This is way thicker because all the chunks, because I filled it full of goodness cherry and pineapple and brown sugar and they're not going to run together in the same fashion that the last ones did i can tell it already yeah girl get away from my pancake other pancake all right i think this is going to be a winner i think i need to clean off my spatula it's pretty bad looking after that last attempt i get some of that goo off there Do you want some leftover pancake? You come here and I'll feed you trim healthy pancakes. <laughs> He's happy with my failure. They're just so ugly. Look at <laughs> the cherry burnt. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. I hope these ones taste as good as that one. Mm. That's right, Bonnie, chunk cakes. Maybe that's what we should call them. I should try this sometime with tropical flavors like coconut. 
and pineapple and bananas inside them. However, I might attempt it first before doing it on camera. <laughs> cook up, baby girl, cook. Don't smoke my house. You know what's smoking is my cooking spray in the part of the pan that's not using batter. Whatever. Take your smoke over there. They're coming. They're coming. Like, stop sticking your spatula in the raw batter. It is tropical, Bonnie, but to be really tropical, it would need coconut. Duh. <laughs> What's the tropics without a little coconut? I could sprinkle some on there right now. We change them from upside down pineapple pancakes to tropical pancakes. <laughs> Oh, she looks good. I gotta turn the heat down. Holy Hannah. This pan's too slippery. I'm not used to this. A pan that is this, uh... oh my goodness. Come on, girl. You can do this. You can do it, KJ. I lost a chunk. Lost a chunk. I need a thinner spatula. This one's too thick. Okay, that, ooh, that one stuck a little. That's okay, that's all right. They look way better than the last ones. <laughs> oh, it's coming, it's coming. This little piece here flipped, now I got raw batter. Look, I'm gonna get rid of that. Don't freak out, it's just a little piece. Hey, they're fluffy. They look mighty fine. They look mighty fine. I do too, Bonnie. I like it when I lose the chunk, but I don't like it when I lose a chunk. All right. I'm watching while making breakfast and other things, so I may have missed that. It was already said, but is this, I can only see, is this reminding me of your bananas? Oh yeah, it kinda it kinda is like the banana split ones, only not. <laughs> the flavor's all in the inside of these ones. Smoking, smoking, stop your smoking. They're so thick. I want them to cook in the middle. Yes, I could put a cover on it, but I don't want to. Because I think it'll smoke. Because it's already. She's scorching. All right, what do you look like underneath, girl? I gotta turn down the heat. Let's hold the heat in there a little with my fingers. This doesn't do anything. I really am just trying. <laughs> I, I'm trying to make them cook quicker. It's not gonna be with my bare hands. It's probably not the wisest idea. How about I do this? I'll take my other giant pan and I'll hold it over the top and let them steam a little bit because I don't have a cover that will fit this. I'm going to take this off and it's going to be burnt. <laughs> I just want it to cook the inside a little bit. The heat's down. See, look at that smoke. That's what I wanted right there. You guys, I'm so bad at cooking this morning, it's not even funny. I'm just flipping them just to make sure the batter inside is cooked. It looks good. She is smoky in here. We're gonna put my hot pan. Okay. Pancakes should not be this difficult. Maybe it's just because it's Sunday. And Sundays make for difficult pancakes. I mean, maybe that's why. I don't know. They're heavy. But they... Mmm. It's okay that they're ugly and heavy. It's okay. It's okay. Let me bring you over here. All right. They look good. They look like plain pancakes. You can't even tell. But I have this on plan happiness right here. Three pancakes are a serving, Shelly. This is the single serve recipe from the cookbook page 259 
See, zero carbs, zero fat. That's my kind of food. Yeah, girl. Now it just got real up in here. Look at that. Because I put whipped cream on my cake. Don't you? Those look pretty good. I should put a little cherry on top. But I'm not going to. You could if you wanted. Put a little cherry on top. Okay, I'm excited to try these. They're perfectly cooked in the middle. They taste just like a pineapple upside down cake, you guys. That pancake mix. Mm, they're good. They're hot in the middle. Who guy? They don't have to be upside down to be good. <laughs> We've learned today, upside down pineapple pancakes do not necessarily need to be upside down in order to be delightful. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of brown sugar on top because I can and I want to. So there you have it. Upside down, not really pineapple pancakes. So, or you could just call them cherry pineapple pancakes. Try the upside down thing if you want. They'd be cold by the time I got to Tennessee, Bonnie. I apologize. <laughs> I'll drive to Tennessee and you make them for when I get there. How's that? All right. That's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my failure this morning <laughs> as much as the dog did. <laughs> He's happy. So they are really, really, really good, Angie, even though I screwed them up once. I might... <gasps> I might stick them in a blender and make me a shake tomorrow. Pineapple upside down pancake shake. I might do that. <laughs> All right, enjoy your breakfast. I hope you're making something delightful. I hope you're making this. If you are, make sure you tag me so I can see it because I want to see all your cooking. So, all right, I love you guys. Until the next day. If you guys think of something you want me to THMify, Send me a recipe so I can, because I'm running out of breakfast ideas already. I'm running out. But don't, um, don't send me like cake because I can't THMFI cake. I suck at it. Send me like breakfasty foods or lunch foods or things that I can actually THMFI that do not require a lot of brain power because I don't have any. So, all right. I love you all. Happy Sunday. Happy Valentine's. I hope you have a wonderful day with your sweethearts or just yourself. Love yourselves. All right. No, eat no off plan chocolates today. If somebody buys you off plan chocolates, you sling it right back at them and say, how dare you? You know, I'm trying to better myself and you bought me real chocolate and then make them eat it all and then go buy yourself some lilies. All right. I love you all.